Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're in uh, Lando Lakes, Florida. We're gonna be doing a driveway cleaning for this customer. They just got some fresh sod put down. They're actually cleaning up right now. So I'm gonna go right after when they're done. Um, I wanna make a little quick video for you guys so I can gauge how much water it takes, at least take me, to clean a regular two car driveway, sidewalk, walkway. Um, that's like the cookie, cookie cutter houses, you know, like, you know, that size here, basic two car garage. This is the one we're doing, two car garage. You know, you can put two cars up, two cars, you know, two cars in the front, two cars in the back. You know what I'm saying? You got a little small sidewalks, regular size sidewalks and a little small walkway. We're gonna do it, try to do it with 250 gallons of water. I probably got just a little bit over 250. My 250 mark is right there. I'm just a little bit above. Call it 250 because with your outlet at the bottom anyway, you know, you're not gonna suck every single gallon out of, out of your tank ever because um, your bolt head, that, uh, your outlet is um, sitting a, a little high. So this is 250 right here. So we right maybe a, a little bit higher than that. But we will be using um, our eight gallons per minute uh, pressure washer today in the 19 inch surface cleaner. This is the one we're gonna be using this baby here. I got it back from Ameritech. Spent a little bit of money on there. I've also re-adjusted re, uh, my soft wash battery from outside of the box. I'm gonna use it here. This is my marine battery. I have it connected to the pressure washer and I have the soft wash pump connected to that. So I basically eliminated one of the batteries. So this video is gonna be pretty much showing you guys, you know, how much water you use on an average or I'll use on an average for a two car driveway. All right, we're gonna see how much water it takes, how long it takes to get the driveway done, 239. We're gonna start at 240, all right? We got the driveway cleaned up. I am gonna put a little porch treatment because we can see some trees over here. We just wanna show you guys the time. 2.59. Clean the driveway, the sidewalks, the curbs. I didn't pre-treat this. I just went ahead and start surface cleaning. I got one line here, but you can see the tanning all over. All those marks. I just spray them with some straight SH and they just go away. 
I'll be right back. Let me show you guys how much water I got left over. So we like, so this is 100 gallons, this is 150. So we probably like around, probably a little bit, about like 120 left over. And I started at 250, a little bit over 250. So what, maybe 130 gallons? It's not, not too bad, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and add the post treatment, get rid of this tanning stains, and a few small little lines I see. Let's do a final walk through sidewalk all the marks are gone post tree with the straight sh you can see got that white white sidewalk this is what it looked like before major major difference We're looking pretty good clean the curbs you don't want to walk in the sh walk on the grass especially on this new side so just walk around driveways cleaned up Poistry to that side too. 130 gallons of water. So guys, you've seen it, 130 gallons to do a basic two car garage driveway with the walkway and the street curbs. Uh, it goes probably by your GPM too. I'm not sure. I got an eight, so I'm able to move faster. It didn't take me that long to do it. Uh, with a four or two, you probably be here longer than me, but who cares? You get the job done. Everybody has to start somewhere. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, and um, you know, leave a comment if you got any questions. Until next time, I'll see y'all. Peace.